Welcome viewers to our art exhibit entitled A Melting Pot, the Creative and Artistic Diversity of Art Appreciation in Students. So both of us are here to guide you all throughout the exhibit. We have a lot of things to share to you all from dance and music compositions, literary, textile artworks, and visual artworks. Without further delay, let us now begin with the opening prayer followed by the Pabantang Awit and Zamboanga Hermosa. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you to give you thank you for everything that you've done in our lives. We also thank you for many blessings that you shower upon us. Today, as we start our art exhibit, we pray for your guidance and for your protection and that everything during the duration of this program will go well. Grant to us and to our audience at home. Grant us peace and goodwill to all men. May the various activities related to this event be a success through your intervention. We ask all of this in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
To formally start our exhibit, let us now listen to Nika Diman for our opening remarks, followed by Kelly Lau for the rationale and impressions, together with John Emmanuel Kalisang. To our teacher, Mrs. Mary Sheldred Angeles, to my classmates, guests, and viewers, good afternoon. I am thrilled to welcome you all to our virtual art exhibit with the theme, A Melting Pot, the Creative and Artistic Diversity of Art Appreciation e students. I am proud to say that I am a part of this class that will showcase our hidden talents and creativity in a form of art. Honestly, we had a difficult time in creating one, but we all tried and gave all our best to create our artworks because we believe that art is for everyone. No matter what level we are in, if we put effort, love, and time in our works, and if we are willing to try, practice, and believe that we can, then we can really create one. So today, we virtually present to you our creative artworks in the form of music, dance, visual arts, and literary arts. I am sure that you will enjoy the performances, paintings, and creations of the artist. Without further ado, just sit back and mesmerize the creations of Art Appreciation E students. Once again, welcome and enjoy the show. Thank you for watching us. Our class exhibition is in fulfillment of the requirements of Art Appreciation Class, school year 2019 to 2020. Beyond being a requirement, it serves as the product of the creativity and hard work of the class. Using the concepts taught in class, each student express himself or herself in the art form he or she prefers doing. These artworks were created for the exhibit that you are currently an audience of. The name of the exhibit stemmed from the idea of it being composed of artworks in varying forms. Hence, it was entitled A Melting Pot, The Creative and Artistic Diversity of Art App Section E Students. As we have studied the subject Art App, we learned about various forms and ways of art. With that, I realized that anyone can be an artist as long as you love what you're doing because art has no limitations at all. A person does not need to have the talents of Michelangelo or Mozart to become a great artist. He doesn't even need to paint a masterpiece like the Sixteenth Chapel or compose a hundred sonatas. A person only needs to have emotions as this is the key driving force of art. Today, as I present to you my form of art, I am as well opening a gateway to my emotions. Thank you. I hope you enjoy.
I Rizay Abubakar, an incoming third-year nursing student. I chose literary arts, specifically short story. At first, I felt anxious while writing my lifelong dream. But since I have the inspiration, my ambition to become a pilot one day, it was easy for me to formulate the short story. My short story is about a girl whose parents are against her choice to become a pilot. But she faced every challenge fearlessly. The story is, in par- is inspired by a person's dream, but all events are fictional. I thought, how am I supposed to go about this? But when I started to write the story, it was as if emotions and thoughts deep within me kept flowing out as I typed word after word, paragraph after paragraph. When I finally finished writing, I felt so relieved because I poured every bit of my emotions and second thoughts that were inside of me all these years. For those who plan to write stories like mine, I suggest that they must prepare an outline before writing the story. Because writing a story without an outline is like building a house without any foundation. Lastly, my main goal in writing my story is to let people understand that once they have a dream, Nothing should stop them to make this possible, even when there are other people who do not support them. Therefore, continue chasing your dream as long as you are not stepping on somebody. That's all. Hi everyone, I am Julian Domingo, a second year student from the Bachelor of Science in Nursing. I am currently picking up art appreciation subject, and there are a lot of different types of art forms, and I chose visual arts. Specifically, painting. I chose painting because in this type of art form, I have some experience besides other type of artworks to choose from. My inspiration in my painting is the mental health illness, and I was inspired from the people that are currently fighting from this illness. When I was painting my artwork, I encountered some challenges which are mixing and blending colors, as I'm not that good in a specific area. I learned from watching videos to do that. I'm far from being skilled, but I can say that I'm making a progress. I have fun in learning this subject and in making my artwork. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm NGP Bundahon, a second year BSN student, and I'm here to talk about my experience in creating my art, which is a requirement for our class in art appreciation. The art form that I chose is urban choreography. 
It is a style of dance, community, and lifestyle that revolves around choreographed pieces and performances by a dancer or groups of dancers. I personally chose it because I already have an experience using this medium, and I want to share my, my art to other people. The first thing that I did in creating the piece is browse my Spotify and I bumped to the song How Does It Feel by Vido. After that, I freestyled to the song and started to choreograph it. Overall, it is a great experience for me to explore more about this style and I'm excited to share it to all. Can I forget the taste? Take it any kind of way. Your body, your mind, make love to your mind. I want you to feel me, babe. Making love to your soul. Kiss everywhere your love flows. In your garden, water your flowers when we're making love, babe. That's the way you into your soul. And even when you're done, keep going. How I love the way it feels, baby. I want you to know it's real, so I I stayed in with no intentions, pure conviction in love, baby. My addiction, reminiscing when I go deep in. I never plan on coming up, cause you know what you're doing, girl. And you already got me right where you want me, baby. And I wanna be your man. How does it feel? Girl, do you oh, get a rush? Ooh, every time that we touch, touch. said I wanna know how. I wanna know how, how does it feel? How does it feel? Where does baby? your mind go? Where does your mind Whenever go? Whenever I go low. Whenever I go low. How does it feel? How does it feel? The story started with the protagonist going back to her hometown after graduating senior high school. She asked her parents to allow her to take a course in Bachelor of Science Aviation, majoring in commercial flying. Her mother would not allow her. She believes that after graduating college, her daughter would be jobless, just like her batchmates who took the same course. Ziana, the main character, ended up taking a very different course from what she wants. She excelled in college hoping her mom would allow her for training to be a pilot after graduating college. After passing the board exam, still, her mother won't allow her to pursue aviation school. She looked for ways and saw an advertisement of a famous airline looking for scholars. She passed, and they were immediately brought to the United States to have their training. After a year, they already have their commercial pilot license. At the end of the story, her mother called that they will be flying to the U.S. to see her. To their surprise, it was their daughter who would be the captain of their flight. final eight artworks, let us now listen to what Javi Rivera has to say. To better promote art appreciation within and perhaps even outside the institution, the following suggestions can be put into practice. First, an efficient, effective, and heavy promotion using social media platforms. As much as possible, make the promotion as brief and straightforward as possible to maximize the viewer's attention span. Second, Work in conjunction with the CSIT department to create an engaging app for art appreciation. And third, placing art installations not only in the university gallery but also in other places within the campus such as the hallways and other open spaces. Of course, these are just three suggestions and out of a hundred possibilities, but nevertheless, they may help promote art appreciation both as a subject and as a lifestyle.
to formally end this art exhibit, both of us would like to thank you, the viewer, for being able to reach this part of the exhibit. And now, let's hear it from Jerry Kautisa for the closing remark. I'd like to thank all the people watching our online art exhibit, the ones involved in making this event possible, along with those who perform and share their experiences and insight on art and its process. This, this exhibit has been given as realization and opened our eyes to lessons that will carry with us for our lives. So after this exhibit, I hope that you have come appreciate art just much as we did. And lastly, on behalf of Art Up Section E, I would like to express our sincere gratitude to our teacher, Mom Mary Angeles, for guiding us into completion of this course. As we, as we end this as we end the course with this activity, we can surely say that we now have our own unique appreciation of art. Once again, thank you and good morning.